Hello friends, welcome to Glint Pixel channel. Have a look at this page. I am going to create this design in this tutorial. This is part one of our video. Let's start it. Uh, in Photoshop, I am going to take a new file. Control N. And uh, you can keep your website width. Generally, it is 1600 to 1920 I'm going to use a regular size 1600 weight in pixels and uh, height it depends actually on your content how much content you are going to show uh, in your website generally we can keep it uh, 1000 pixels 1500 or 2000 actually it depends on your content later on we can increase or decrease the size of our document so no problem at this stage resolution should be 72 pixels color mode RGB colors press ok let me fill background color white for now This is our document info you can see here. If I press Ctrl A, it will show here 1600 by 1500 is the width of my this file. If you are going to design according to bootstrap rules, then you need to include here a bootstrap grid or you should have awareness about the bootstrap rules. Uh, how much width it should be of your container and uh, what should be padding, margins and gutter sizes. Uh, I have already one grid.psd file let me drag it in my file and close it uh, you can download this grid file for website and mobile application easily from google i have also downloaded this grid psd from the google if i check this grid size that should be according to bootstrap width 1140 1140 is actually a regular container size of bootstrap. Let me create a header section. Also add me a grid here. Like this. Now we can hide this layer. This will be our header section. We can keep it around about uh, six to seven hundred. That's okay. In this page, we will have uh, multiple sections uh, like uh, uh, header section about services, work, testimonial, and contact. So we will be designing all sections one by one. So first of all, we need a hero image or a slider image for our header. I have already downloaded some images from the Google. Control A, Control C, and Control V. Right click on the layer, create clipping mask. By doing this, my image will be clipping in this layer. Control T let me resize it enter I am taking duplicate of this layer to add some effects over this image I am going to add a effect on this image a color effect let's take a purple color I think that's fine let me rotate it that's okay I am going to down its opacity a little bit like this 
also I need to down opacity of this image rename it hero image let me add our website name okay let's keep it my first design let me hide uh, these two grids for now press ctrl h once you press ctrl h your grids will be hide and again by pressing ctrl h all grids will be visible once let me set my name and then i will own my grids again you can choose your favorite font Now let me add menu, my navigation. Font size should be 18, that is good. you can highlight your active tab that means now we are on this section also let me add some text here I'm going to take copy of this text again you can type a new text but this is actually shortcut so it helps us to doing our work fast let me add little shadow I think it is looking good like this we can add an arrow key here for scroll down effect let me add my center grid actually this is our center area
let me add arrow key here this is font awesome website we can add our icon from here I'm going to add this arrow control C control V actually this is font awesome so I need to change its font Font awesome. well first section is ready for our website let me make it as a group select all layers of this section all are selected control G you can see this is our group name it header or home let me save this website my first design save it press ok thank you for watching this video part 1 has been completed you can find part 2 link in the description below don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you bye